people as we discussed in the last part that uh, the challenger strategies now we'll go to discuss the market niching so what is niching niche marketing is a special a special area with the demand of the product or the service so the companies go and realize and find and market research those area and go and work in the area where need of specialization is needed need to be different and be stand out from the uh, crowd mean mean you have a unique feature so every product can be defined at its market as niche the 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 areas or the things how niche market is be choose that uh, chosen that is very important your i your ideal uh, profitability in niche is in low competition when you go into the market there is a high demand of that product like I gave you example of um, fish market so the fish is the specialty the fried fish or the uh, roasted one is the for the charsada but now that market expands these are the niche marketing where they were uh, uh, demanding uh, they were working in that and this this is a high pro, uh, profitable uh, and uh, potential in the high income uh, in the product the cost of the raw fish is around about 180 kg rupees kg and they sell it for 500 the basic one from 500 to 1500 so this is a very high profit in the niche market so go, the, the companies decide to go in the niche is because they, there is a high profit ability low competition and a low demand uh, high market demand in the market so come you go for that to niche then what niche strategies uh, are so there almost every uh, company has a niche they will they serve a small segment within the segment and the nature's companies are basically when small and limited in resources but it's uh, smaller and division of the large com- firms as well as so mean the large companies also go into the niches like apple and why niches because it has a very good big profit in that and very low competition and there is very low entry barriers in the market so that's why company go for the uh, market um, niche defensive strategies if you see captain colonel sher khan shaheed these these two are his picture one is his in uniform in action defending pakistan kargil area and get martyred and the other is his normal picture of the uh, colonel sher khan so colonel sher khan was involved in get martyred in the uh, 1999 5 july 1999 and very successfully he defended the five strategic post of the high altitude of 17000 feet in the line of on the line of control he was attacking the enemy uh, eight time bigger than uh, his uh, his position he was commanding a company a, a, a unit for um the army and in front of his this were there was brigade so brigade has a brigadier commander uh, and then colonel full colonel and lieutenant colonel and majors 11 major 11 captains and there is a large so he was defending and what he was doing to defend those areas was uh, the uh, suicidal he knows that he will not come back while defending he post so he was going up on them and they retreated ma- uh, the, uh, the indian army retreated many times but he was the one who was directing fire and at the end he was hit by a machine gun burst where he get shahadat so the story or the purpose of the story is that how defense is very important in the life why come you do defense come you do defense because of to protect uh, uh, to to increase the profitability increase the share and uh, develop the product so you see uh, in the pictures that f- first of all there was a small share of them and then they expanded expanded it and take the share 
and because of this share the profitability increase and the mind share is that what the people are thinking about them and what they have set a goal for the, uh, the from their self and then the, they position the product uh, in the consumer mind so this is the uh, uh, purpose or the need of the uh, attacks now we will come to the main point of defensive strategy there are commonly six uh, positions or six common common strategies of defense which is position defense mobile defense flank defense and preemptive uh, defense counter offensive defense these are the main five main strategies now we will discuss these strategies one by one position defense is involved in occupying the most desirable market space in the minds of the consumer market uh, market here uh, market making the brand almost uh, impressive um, uh, and prestige uh, prestigious in the market in the mind of the people as share handed so there was an pakistani advertising a wheel company was a nature company but then he decided to attack the leaders and he did attack it, attack the leader and attack the the retreat the leaders to, def, to the, they were trying to defend their positions so the big example is mercedes the toyota uh, mercedes normally um, normally uh, target the rich people and then mercedes uh, the toyota launch a brand of luxus to counter that uh, position and he took the share of mercedes in the in this segment then mobile defense mobile defense is the where the the company prevent competition from competitor it require constantly changing position and business such that it become difficult for the competitor to compete for example in mobile uh, defense the leader st uh, stretch its dominance over new territories then uh, can serve as a future center for the defense and offense through market of broadening a market or diversifying itself uh, market are broadening or bringing new innovations or involving in shifting the focus of the consumer from the current to understand a generic need for example petroleum companies if they want to expand they want to go into the oil um, coal uh, putting the new refineries uh, instead of just digging the oil uh, through wells from the uh, the the uh, fields now flank defense flank defense is the defense where marketing um, uh, uh, companies attack others weak point or blind spots so then the flank defense uh, for instant is very important the market leader should also uh, uh, act or erect opportunities or bring new opportunities to protect a weak front possibly and serve this area where it was blind or they are not serving to protect themselves from the attacking uh, then they do investigation on that and additional amount in extensive advertising and building brand equity thus it is made him skills market leader by uh, confronting the attack of the competitors contraction defense attack contraction defense attack is a defense uh, situation where the company want to withdraw from the market or in the second scenario go for the uh, Uh, merger of the company in uh, the company or there are some companies who want to take forcefully your share they want you to buy your company to you uh, and they want you to leave that uh, area for them the good example for that was tata he uh, company of india he, they were in the business of soap and detergents but when procter and gamble came there they went to there have an agreement and sold all the property to them the brandings the company the machinery the employees all the things and they took their money and started a new business
this is one scenario of contraction defense the other scenario in contraction defense is that that one company a wants and have an agreement and purchase you a share to become dominant on you to take control of you and take out you you as a board of directors or as an individual or as a owner to out of the market so when you are forced to have an agreement with them and then you do that sort of agreements with the organizations that could defend your share your position uh, your holding on the company so this is also called the contraction defense now we have uh, preemptive defense preemptive defense uh, is that the company launch preempt uh, is several ways preemptive defense is in several ways that it can uh, weigh gorilla action across the market hitting one competitor there one another means you hit the competitor before they come and hit you the uh, a preemptive defense is a more aggressive manner to attack before the enemy start attacking you the company or the organization launch a preemptive defense in many ways it uh, it can start a big gorilla action across the market hitting one here one there or keep everyone off balance hitting them uh, before they try to hit uh, achieve and they want uh, they want to achieve certain goals with that preemptive action so the other one is counter offensive defense counter offensive defense is a strategy that when attack most market leader will respond with the counter attack counter attack can take in many form in the counter attack offensive from the leader can met the attacker frequently or hit it flank or launch a pioneer movement against them to protect their territories and uh, products positions the, the that's all for this week we discuss all these strategies in detail so listen to the lecture listen to the situation in which situation which type of strategy is involved in that one and your next marketing uh, your next uh, account sorry your next assignment is from the study of gillet so you need to go through the study and identify why uh, what is what gillet have done which defensive strategies it ha uh, the gillet has uh, used and how and how you see that discuss those things and come up with the findings of that one so that's all for uh, uh, this week thank you very much if have a, if you have a, uh, questions you can contact me uh, and thank you very much so far for this week